Welcome to Press Box's High School Lacrosse Show with Booker Corey. The High School Lacrosse Show is brought to you by Jerry's Tire Service, just off the bottom of 83, convenient to downtown Fells Point and Camp. Clean, safe, and secure. Jerry's Tire Service is a complete tire and service center for your car or truck. Skilled technicians take care of your car while you work. Whether you need a scheduled service, new tires, a tune-up, or a major repair, when you need car service, Jerry's Tire is the place to go. 39 South Central Avenue. Call Jerry's at 410-685-4330 or see them online at jerrystires.com. That's G-E-R-R-Y-S tires.com. Jerry's is proud to support local high school lacrosse. Now, here's Booker Corrigan. Hey now, we are inside the live casino hotel studio, and this is the High School Lacrosse Show. I'm Booker Corgan, joined by Glenn Clark. Big week. The MIAA season is now revolving. Now it started. It couldn't have started a bigger way, could it? Have? Really insane. Uh, McDonough, who I saw play Culver, I went out and watched them practice a couple times just in order to really get a grasp of how talented they are, and I think they have so many great players, and I left there thinking... They could go undefeated. They could literally run the ten, and, and who knows? But evidently, I wasn't. Yeah, the one correct. <laughs> evidently, I wasn't the one. As it turns out, did, yeah, they funny they happened. can't. Yeah. Is the weird thing. Yeah, we were on our way to the bingo parlor, and while the directions right. got all fouled up, and one thing led to another, <laughs> and St. Paul's goes to McDonough, which is also a tough place to play because all these teams play on AstroTurf, and McDonough is a grass field, so you're playing on their turf. They're a little bit more comfortable with it. I get that. St. Paul's wins the game. I mean, they came in there and took them down 12-9. Uh, they kind of led the entire game. They jumped on them. It was 4-1 to in the first quarter. You were genuinely surprised by this. Yes. Yes, yeah. I was. Yes. Thoroughly surprised. Not that I thought it was a, a ta- an easy win for McDonough, because every MIA game, I mean, obviously Spalding, John Carroll, Mount St. Joe are going through some – uh, learning curves right now as far as a high school lacrosse right. team. But they're going to jump up on somebody. Severn is – that's not your father's Oldsmobile down in, in, in Annapolis. So there's going to be some surprises, and this was certainly one of – it was surprising. I thought I thought that McDonough was like an 85% chance they were going to win that wow. game. Wow. And St. Paul's led – it wasn't a – you know, they didn't chuck in a three-pointer at the, at the buzzer. They led the entire game. Uh, somebody told me in December, don't sleep on the Crusaders. Because they they have some talent. They have, obviously Mason Woodward's a great great player. Frankie Hapney, stud little players. They have some new guys. We'll get them into the mix once they earn their stripes here in the Baltimore area. But right now they have studs, and they're kind of the team to watch. Calvert Hall's the known entity. Sure. St. Paul's the team to watch. McDonough, we're going to see how they recover tomorrow on the game of the week. The FCA lacrosse game of the week goes to Loyola. Because it's McDonough at Loyola at 4 o'clock. It's going to be tremendous to see how Loyola keeps building from their big win on Friday. Right. And then, of course, you have McDonough coming off a loss. I don't. Sometimes you're the bug. Sometimes you're the That's the way you, it works, man. Yeah. That's the way it works. Or, as they say in the Big Lebowski, sometimes you eat the bar. And sometimes the bar eats. Did you sense they were? Did you sense they were stun book? Did you yeah. sense oh, that yeah, they yeah, felt yeah. it the same way? Like in, this, this isn't supposed to be happening right now. In my conversations with people, just you know, in preparations, they were genuinely surprised to the to the tune of, like, wait, l- let's play this game again. Like they, right. they knew they got off to a bad start, and sometimes you can recover. I mean, obviously, last night you look at the Penn State Maryland thing. Mm-hmm. They recovered to the point where it's a one goal game with acres of time left Mm -hmm. so you know they recovered and and mcdonough could never really close the gap to the point where they actually took the lead so it's it's a huge feather in the cap of trey witty the new um you know second year coach at st paul's fantastic individual i taught classes with trey he is phenomenal so he's doing the right things over there in brooklynville um so that's i mean obviously huge as you pointed out the quick turnaround Game of the week tomorrow. Oh, yeah, Tuesday, Friday. How important is this now? You're going to have to take me through this, Booker. Yep. As far as getting to the end of the season, unless you just want to say Calvert Hall is going to end up running away with this thing, so nothing's going to matter. But as far as tangibly, how important is it for McDonough to win tomorrow, get right oh, yeah. the ship, if you yes. will, immediately after something like this? It, it totally is, especially when you look at the scores and games that Loyola has played this year. You would think that McDonough would be a four or five goal favorite, and now you 
send them over there with a chip on their shoulder. It'll be interesting to see, uh, obviously, a new coach at Loyola, Gene Ubriaco, yep. who's up doing great things, but he's not. He didn't bring back the the star power that McDonough has, and certainly Calvert Hall. You know, last year Loyola played Calvert Hall in the semifinals, and it really wasn't that close of a game. And then Calvert Hall went on to beat BL in the championship game. It's going to be interesting to see how McDonough imposes their will on Loyola tomorrow. And if you go to MIAlacrosse.com, you can watch the FCA Game of the Week. And it's a You know where I like to go to watch the Game of the Week. CSE Lacks. No, I like to go to the Valley Inn. That's where I like to go to watch the Game of the Week. That's my move. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, right? Nothing wrong with that. uh, Obviously, it's going to be compelling to see because Tuesday is McDonough Loyola. And then Friday night, because we're doubling up, we have Calvert Hall hosting McDonough, which could very easily be a preview of the championship. And for St. Paul's fans, I'm not trying to slight you. I, I just I, I think that McDonough may take in the full measure of the lesson. And if those two teams should play again, I would still have to probably favor McDonough. Okay. Be, so it'll be interesting. And goalie play, you know, we all know in sports with goalies, it, it pays to have and a good one. You're saying they're going to be okay. Your, your yeah. expectation oh, yeah. is they're going to be okay. Well, now this. I have St. Paul's probably being a Final Four team. Okay. Like, they'll be in the semifinals. And I'll be in then game, you know, you gotta play the game. It'll be interesting to see how that evolves because they are so good. And McDonough is one of the most talented teams I've seen. Calvert Hall is a little bit more talented than everybody, but you still have to stay healthy. You gotta get kids in the right position to be the best version of themselves. And then they gotta find a way to make sure they don't warm up the goalie, you know, finish the goalie's warm up while the game's going on. Okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> Taking bad shots will sometimes come yeah. back to bite you badly. Uh, Calvert Hall's goalie on Friday night, we were over at the Calvert Hall BL game, and Boys Latin comes out there. They're kind of neck and neck with them, and BL took some shots that Jackson Marshall, the Calvert Hall goalie, just, you know, he gobbled them up, made great saves. BL hits a couple pipes. Next thing you know, it's, you know, five to one, and Calvert Hall's feeling momentum and they're not giving up possessions. They're making easy scoops on ground balls, making plays, and they're able to extend it. I always sense that that goalie gets a couple easy ones, that all of a sudden the next couple ones that are a little bit more difficult, he's feeling a little bit more, yes. he's a little more into the game, he's a little more ready to try to make some of the more you know, difference-making yeah. saves because he got those touches early to make some of the easier saves. And it's the same thing with, you know, if you coach basketball or just you know coaching lacrosse, when a game starts, you want to get everybody a touch. You know, yeah. just kind of let them settle into yep. the the playing of the game because warm ups are warm ups. You don't want to keep the warm up going. You want to start the game speed stuff, and that's why as a in practice, we're constantly harping on our players to go game speed so that it's more comfortable when they get out there and have to do it in a game. So games of the week this week. Not yes. just one. Not yes. one singular game of the week. Games of the week. Yes. Tomorrow and yep. Friday. Yep. McDonough at Loyola. Go to MIALacrosse.com. And Friday, the FCA lacrosse game of the week. Calvert Hall, McDonough. And that's the one that's, oh, that's over the air? That's on MeTV? Yeah, it's on WBAL MeTV. If you have Verizon or Comcast, you're on board there. And then, obviously, you get on the internet. Everybody plugs their internet into their TV these days anyway. Yeah, or right. you can just go to the Valley Inn. That's and that's where I like to yeah. be. That's where I like See to watch the game Pelks. of the week. Yeah. So a big week, two huge games obviously coming up when it comes to that. Big time games. The other thing I want to tell you is so many of these players, whether it's St. Paul's, BL, McDonough, Loyola, Calvert Hall, Gilman. I mean, we haven't even touched on them yet. Right. These are all kids that try out for and are either make or are very, very close to making that Under Armour All American underclass team. So it's rising freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors who try out and go to, you know, get ga- try out to Goucher, go to underarmlacrosse.com and be a part of that because it is the best way to, A, measure yourself against the best players in your region. So you might be a player at Towson High or at Severna Park. Sure. And you want to see how you would match up with some of these guys from Calvert Hall, McDonough, BL, St. Paul's, Gilman, blah, you know, you can rattle them off. Go to that tryout because that's when you're going to get a chance to really measure yourself one on one against those guys and see, you know, uh, Calvert Hall has the two Mitchell twins and Cole Herbert. Right. Then they have Daniel Kelly down on attack, who's quick as a button, and saucy Jack Sawyer. Yes. Who's yes. Unbelievable. He can quick. It's we like to say he can quick you, and if you're, 
That, if you're not on your toes, you're going to be on your heels. That's a great point. Yeah. Great point. Saucy Jack, they call him. Uh, book, real quick, this is the uh, Press Box High School Lacrosse Show, which is brought yep. to you by Jerry's Tire Center, and we are happy to have Jerry's on board with us for the season. That's awesome. Big supporters of local high school lacrosse. Convenient to downtown Fells Point and Canton. Clean, safe, and secure. Jerry's Tire is a complete tire service center for your car or truck. Go to jerrystire.com. That's G-E-R-R-Y-S. All right, a couple things. You brought up Gilman. We yes. gave you a homework assignment last week. Anything they, you can tell us? No. Okay. No, they literally, they are playing it very, which is fine. Right, and, I mean, absolutely. You know, it's their job, the yeah, other, of course. It, and the thing that I heard was they don't want other people's opinions to cloud their decision making. Okay. And they've played it unbelievably close to the vest, so, you know, and more power to them. All right. More power to them. So that was one. The yeah. other one I wanted to bring up, and we talked about this a little bit on my show, I... I was looking at some of the results last week um, that were related to the, the the MIA schools versus some of the public schools. Right. And I wanted to bring them up because I think it's a reminder. We talk a lot about MIA lacrosse on this show for obvious reasons. Right. And someone might say, hey, can we give a little public school love? And we will. You know what I mean? It's not like we're never going to bring up public schools. But I thought that you got a reminder of kind of the distance between you know some of these programs a week ago when you see – like Hereford's really good. Yep. They're they're not good enough to be living in that world quite yeah. yet. Uh, we just had a big game, Loyola, who looks like they could be a playoff team in the MIAA. They went and played Towson at Towson and put it on a pretty good like yeah. a nine goal game. Yeah, I mean, and, like again, and Towson's very good, right? Leighton Towson's Betchel, absolutely right. Yeah, Rory Bateman. I mean, they have some stars. I mean, if I'm reeling off their names, these are kids that are really, really good players. And it, there's just a difference in overall depth. And overall, you know, tacit knowledge, that lacrosse IQ. Everybody always says, you know, the basketball IQ. What does that mean? The actual definition of it is tacit knowledge. And if you want to know what that is, it's all the things that makes Larry Bird one of the best basketball players ever. Because it wasn't his jumping ability. Of course, right. It wasn't Correct. his speed. Right, right. Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was that, you know, that innate ability to know where I everyone always know. Yeah. Right, exactly right. Tacit knowledge. It's pretty oh, good. Yeah. I like that. Uh, what else jumped out at you from the past week, Book? Thrilled with St. Mary's. I think they're going to be impressive this year. I think they're a playoff team. St. Mary's will have some work to do once they make it to the playoffs, but they got a defenseman, B.J. Burlace, who I think is phen- athletic as you would ever want a long stickman to be. And then they have uh, your boy Wicks, uh, Ian, I forget his last name, on, uh, on attack, who's a very, very good player. So it'll be interesting to see how St. Mary's evolves as this season goes on, uh, Severn is a team that I think could make some noise as well. But Gilman, again, you know, it's Brooke Ma- Brooks right. Matthews last year. It's going to be very compelling to see how they rise to the occasion because I don't think they're putting any pressure on themselves to, to play great for Coach Matthews last season. I think they're just trying to honor the, the work that he's done because he's done a phenomenal job and make sure that they put a nice stamp on it, you know, wrap it up with a bow and give it to them and, and overachieve. And whether that level of achievement means they can beat Cal sure, Palm and right. they, whoever they you know play in a playoff game, or you know maybe they fall short. But I think they're going to make sure they put in a solid, consistent, all year long effort that started months ago. Uh, you mentioned St. Mary's. I got a great yep. win over Spalding the other day. Yep. Really kind of put it on them. And then I know we were talking about Towson a second ago, and and obviously it, they had a, a tough one, but they also had a really nice win last week as well. Beating Marriott's Ridge, right? Yep. So that was that was on Saturday. That was on Saturday. Yeah, really good win for Towson. Marriott's Ridge, very yeah. good, right? Marriott's like, Ridge, defending state champion of their class. Right. Um, their coach Tony and Contrera, phenomenal guy. See him a lot. Uh, Centennial. Nick Kellinger's got a good thing going over at Centennial. Okay. So it'll be interesting to see how they continue to proceed. So yeah, the public school stuff is interesting and compelling but when you talk about overall level of play sure. there's just there, there's a little there's bit of a gap there's still clearly a yep. different yep a there's bit of a, a difference there uh, anything else we mentioned the two games of the week we'll plug those one more time but anything yep. else coming up this week that you those got your eye the, on those are the absolute big ones I mean you talk about McDonough at Loyola the two teams that were in the semifinals last year and then you have Calvert Hall hosting McDonough on Friday night that's going to be insane you know, we just did the Calvert Hall BL game we're over 50,000 views i mean the people are acknowledging the, the the level of play we get feedback from you know all over the country and obviously part of this too is that like these guys are about to go to other schools yep. like they've got fans at 
um, you know, at North Carolina. They got fans exactly right, and they know that these kids are coming to those programs and they want to see them play on a Friday night before they watch their own team on Saturday. So not just locally the interest, not just from the NIA crowd, but throughout the country of folks that are checking out guys that are about to go play for their favorite team. And you can watch that on MIAALacrosse.com. And certainly uh, Baltimore 10 Miler is another one of our little sponsors. Yep. They, they do a nice job with that party after the run. And I that's am, what, I am, I'm getting nervous because if you missed it on my show today, we kind of put together a bet. One of us is going to have to run in that Baltimore 10 Miler. Or Kyle. Right, correct. Yes, or Kyle Ottenheimer, my, <laughs> my sidekick. Um <laughs> I'm not. I'm not a. I'm not a distance runner book. That's yeah. not my world. But do I, do I strike you as one? No, no. But I bet do at I some point in your life you've been. Uh, I did. I ran yeah. a marathon. Once. Right. Correct. Uh, November 9th, two thousand two. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I actually right. missed a buddy of mine's wedding for it. Ooh, that's rough. <laughs> that's well, a I, I was rough. living in Richmond. There was a Richmond marathon. Okay. And his wedding was in Philly. I love a buddy of mine, Pete Fry. It's your home. Pete That's your Kelly. Yeah, right. So it was all my old buddies. But I had been training for this marathon for months. And you, know, you get the wedding invitation six weeks out. You're like, dude, yeah, yeah I, right. I, I was kind of like, oh. You know, I'd just been up there the weekend before for Halloween. So I, I you know, or and I had already told him. But I knew I was coming up for the Halloween. So I figured, I you know you. what, we're going we're gonna to put I this one on the absentee ballot. And I did run a marathon. All right. At Booker Corrigan on Twitter. Yes. Uh, shout out Jerry's one more time for me. Oh, Jerry's the high school lacrosse show is brought to you by Jerry's Tire, convenient to downtown Fells Point in Canton. Clean, safe, and secure. Jerry's Tire is a complete tire and service center for your car or truck. See them online at jerrystire.com. G E R R Y S tire.com. All right, I'm screwing up the schedule next week because I'm going to New York this weekend to go to yep. WrestleMania. So I'll I be love back. that about you, by the way. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. I've been to WWE. Uh, they're that, in, actually in Baltimore tomorrow night. At NASCAR. Yeah, yeah, sure. Been, you, you I have, been, I, you, you got to experience the whole thing. Yeah. This is way over the top. I don't. I'm kind of sheepish. I'm embarrassed by this. This is the third time I've gone to WrestleMania. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a little. It's a little embarrassing. It's well, a little. Let me embarrassing. ask you this: Is it cool? Yeah, it's great. Oh my gosh, yeah. it's a great time. That's why it's you're a great going. time. That's where we go. Yep. I mean, we, we like, go. I saw the Grateful Dead more than once. Yeah, right. No, no, no. It's right. a festival. It's a whole yeah. thing. It's an awesome time. We're gonna have a great time up there. You know what I'd like to do? We're gonna do less peyote, I think, than you would do at a great. No. No, the one thing I would love to see Kid Rock again. I saw him once, and I would certainly love it. Great, great show. I would like to see the Grateful Dead crowd and the Kid Rock crowd and how much crossover there is between the two. I'm going to guess it was Booker, and that's it. He's the only one. He's the only one that made it out to both the Grateful Dead show and the the Kid Rock show. I would like to know where that Venn diagram is. Right, exactly. Exactly (laughs) where do do those crowds meet. Where do those worlds meet? Hey, let's get to your lesson. Oh, right, yeah, before we leave. And this is something, because I know you have young kids. If you're coaching youth sports, what are you in it for? You should be in it for the kids, right? If you care what your win-loss record is, you are in it for the wrong reasons. Now, when you coach college and your job, your livelihood may actually depend on your win-loss record, I understand that. Pro sports, obviously, that's you know what they're trying to do even though as fans we should know it's just entertainment it's like going to the movies you just don't wear a jersey to the movies right yeah you've been to a marvel movie you've been to see the yeah. avengers there are some people yeah. that are wearing jerseys yeah. uh, and there's also people who wear sports jerseys to correct the movies. But, correct uh, my point being if you're coaching high school sports you should be in it for helping kids become and i've said it a number of times help kids become the best possible version of themselves and sometimes that's through a hard lesson, like we saw Tom Izzo. Yep. I, I don't know if that's the the perfect delivery, but that's the that's sometimes one it's tough, end of the, right? Sometimes yeah, it's, there's some tough love. There's mm-hmm. sometimes you got to give them a pat on the back. Sometimes you got to pull them out and let them watch. Sometimes you got to put them in and let them fail. That's the the message is it, they would they should enjoy doing it. And I go to watch my kids play, and the only thing I ever tell them is I love watching you play. It looked like you had a great time with your friends. How who were you, what were you talking to Billy about? Yeah. Or what was Blue, you know, my daughter's yeah. best friend, Blue Parks. Fantastic. And I'm like, hey, I saw you and Blue talking. What were you guys talking about? It's cool. Yeah. And that's, that's cool. what That's what matters. Yeah. Right. That's and what now, matters. That's not to say that when I was in high school, I was a sophomore, and my mom pulled me aside because I made a varsity hockey team, and she said, you know, it's not about whether you win or lose, it's how you play the game. There's a scoreboard down there. And that actually does matter they do keep, a little right, bit. They keep track. Yeah, they matter. do keep track. They do. Yeah, they, if, if it doesn't matter who right. wins or loses, they wouldn't have a scoreboard down there. Correct. So you do want to find a way. But he said, she also said, never lose your honor 
for what you're doing and who you're doing it with. It's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. She was smart. She still is smart. I'm going to see her having dinner with her tonight. That's great, man. Crab cakes That's and shrimp. Tremendous. I love that. All right, Booker. Um, next Tuesday. We'll do the yes. show next week on next Tuesday. Next so Tuesday. And be the then we're time. right on the game of the week, baby. I love it, man. All right, Book. Take us home. Great on. show. Hey, I want to remind you all, I'm Booker Corrigan, and you only get one shot at today.